I, are, are we in? I mean, this is Garland. God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. He 100% knows Maggie. 100%. Huh, looks like a climbing anchor. Well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. At first I thought maybe he was talking about Alex, but he said 30, 40 years, unless this is like way in the future. I think he's talking about Maggie on the island. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I, I, I think I know what might be going on. Speak. It's going to take some explaining. Speak. My cottage is just up the way here. I might oh have something God. that could help. It's Tell me now. Jacob, what do you know? What is going on? I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young. And I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed, or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. I know she wrote about something like this. I, I think it can help. I know it can. Just trust me. What did she do? What was she? She worked at Fort Milner on Edwards Island when the base was still operational. But... I can get into it if you want, after we find out if her work will even help us. And then uh, I, I can give you the footnotes, you know? It's not far. I love it. Yeah, the cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's going to wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. Well, it's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Oh, that... I'm sorry, that... Uh, that sucks. Yeah, would have been nice for them to have met each other a little younger. But I, I guess I'm just happy they met at all. The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to work. But it's Holy not like shit. a big deal, basically. I, uh... <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. I like it. It's like if a tree fork could grow up. Hey, thanks. I try to keep it ship shape. All the stuff that we need is inside. Should just take a minute, I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Problem? Kind of. Yes. The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're... Oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning. And I forgot to put them back in my pants. Ah, <sighs> God. Sorry. Hey, it happens. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. Well, if you're wondering what appears behind my camera, uh, it says map updated. It's little that, tiny things just letting me know no. that, like, okay. updated map. That's kind of stuff. Oh, wrong button. Yeah. So it updated my map. That's happening. Yeah. Maybe? No. Hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If my truck was here with the garage door opener. Bro! Sorry. Come on, man! Ah. <sighs> 
What's that middle one? Almost there. Rats. Oh, well, that's... Wow. <laughs> nice. Broom, broom, hmm. broom. Nope. Oh, yeah. Damn it. We tried. We really had a doggy door solution happening there. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. Really? I'm sure there's not another... Got to turn the light off. Just being, I'm just power this saving. This is going to take a while. Why am I not surprised? Window. I need to get up there. Hmm. Ladder. Take the ladder up. Hook to the window. Right? This should reach the window. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you and me both, pal. Professional video game player books. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. Yep. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. Oh. Not bad for an amateur. Where's Snoopin? Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. Musical things. Boop, boop, boop. Hello? Hello? Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. The waiting be hell, I am to wait. Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. Uh, yeah, you have a nice day too. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Go for a pizza right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna hate a man for having pizza boxes. That's downstairs. Can I open? I can't open this, huh? Because that's blocked. Spooky, scary man. Spooky, scary. Ah! Oh, got it. Hey, you there? Come let me in. Hold on, I'm looking at your metal monster. He's actually pretty good at this. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Boop, 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 boop. Mm, he must be a collector. Thanks. How'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. I left that open again. God. I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. Uh, the journal should be just over here. Explain. I know there was one where she talked about gates. To me. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hang on. You got a really weird phone call a minute ago. If it was a prank, I definitely didn't get the joke. Oh, really? Uh, what'd they say? Or was it just like a recording or something? You want a boat, just send us $5,000. <laughs> I 
They were worried about being late? Uh, I don't know. It was weird. Huh. Well, probably a wrong number. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, this is it. One of the journals Maggie. That belonged to Maggie Adler. Yep. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake. The, the, the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone, but not really. Is uh, that why this is happening? Maybe. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, I mean, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, it, it all just sounded insane. Okay, so let's say everything you're telling me is true. How does this help us solve this? Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? How, uh, how did our friend Anna die? She didn't really get into the details, just that during an experiment, something went wrong. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. All right, so all of this happened in like the 40s or something, right? Why is this happening now all of a sudden? That portal over on Edwards Island, whoever did that, I mean, I don't think it was an accident based on what we heard on the walkie. But just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, huh. Huh. Jacob, come on, what'd she say? Oh, yeah, sorry, she's... Uh, she, she says that harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's this, this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it, based on what Maggie thinks at least. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah. I think. I mean, we saw what the one did, which is definitely what we want to do. Because you know, Ma Maggie says, she wrote here, that, that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Which doesn't sound good. Man. So, uh, what will happen exactly if the portal or whatever stays open? It sounds like it'll really screw up our timeline. Maybe destroy it? The general store's holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case, we should be all set. That's what Evelyn said. Yeah, they have my stuff. So I know the owner, and I know where the key is. So that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that, it should work. Sounds like something that makes just enough sense that I'll go along with it until it doesn't work. <laughs> That's about the level of confidence I'm at too. Okay, uh, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. Hey! Just hope we're right. Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Over! Oh, it's Evelyn. We should loop her in. Riley! Jacob? You guys there? Guys, please, can you answer me? It's Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn. So, 
things are bad, but we have a plan. Sort of. Uh, over. Riley, what plan? What's going on? The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! Some old lady's journals Jacob had lying around. <laughs> what? It just, just don't worry. We know what to do. Don't worry. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level, and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this that might work. Science. Oh, the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. But this is better. Okay, let's go. Alright, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I... I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? Heh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. Athena? Sorry, I... Uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Good to know. I will keep an eye out. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Can I go out the front? No. Back door it is. Back door for life. Alright. Can we go down this way over here? What's the rules right now of your mega cabin? Right. Maria, nothing. And then there was the down. I want to get to the. We'll go back there, I'm sure. Love the water reflection, that's really cool. I'm on the road. I'm a little tired, so I'm just resting my feet, but I'm on the road. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Truer, truer song lyrics never heard. I do have some trouble deep down inside. Okay, what is this? Right, you just have like a little... What? I'm sorry, what is this? You can't go down there. So this is a whole bunch of you can't go nothing? We could climb up, but we don't have any transmitters. So we need to... Alright, real quick. 
We need to go back to the general store, but the point over there can't get there, so we gotta go back, back. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the arrows kind of lead you uh, to kind of where stuff is. All right. Oh, oh, sorry, wait. We have to... <laughs> ah, just got it. Whenever you cross the bridge, you have to spit over the side. My Let's man. <sighs> well, there. We can, we can use it. I'm not going to question it. We could use it. I'll take all the luck I can get. Yeah. Not the weirdest thing to happen tonight. <laughs> Might as well just one little spit is gonna be fine. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers he never moved the key. Just uh follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high tech security, you know. Stealing gum. It's happening. Hmm, but which one? Winter. Nope. Same. Hell yeah. And grab me a pack. No, screw it. Grab me two. Eh, I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in this thing, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. Should we leave, like, a note or something? And what would this note say? The universe possibly collapsing? Have it technically rob you? Hugs and kisses? Shake and rye? There's the gear. Let's go. Uh, mind if I take a look at the gear? A few more transmitters, and it looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. Try not to pick it up. Ugh. We'll be fine, Jacob. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyways, let's just let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map and let's pick where we want to go. Probably above the house, right? So I need to get 3,000 feet above, or above 3,000 feet. So I got to get to past the creepy church, right, past Charity Point, and then the top of Tutega Falls. Okay. All right. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. She said, not having a clue. Um... Can we just walk to funnies? Also, while we're here, is the community center open? Did you see that? Was there a sparkle up by the flag? Yeah, there's a sparkle by the flagpole. Ooh, I see it. 
Well, well, well. Hello, Sparkle. Hello, stranger person. You called the advice line earlier. Pick up, please. Over. Yep, yeah, hello. I'm here. Over. Hi. Hiya. Thanks for picking up. Remember when I said if you run into three teenagers to call them assholes? Yeah. Over. Well, have you run into three teenagers? I have. Do you know them? Uh, yeah, I have. Three teenagers in masks, just like you said. Over. Really? Seriously, that's... Okay, so that's... That's Charlie and Violet. They're my friends. And Olivia. But... Forget her. And they just... They just Olivia. told me they were going out to Edwards Island. And they kind of gave me this look like this was the last time. And I don't really know what I did to piss them off. So, like, what are they doing? Are they at Brad's house? Do you know Brad Nelkin? You wouldn't know Brad Nelkin. Hey, Maria, who are they? Really? Tell me about them, okay? Over. Oh, I mean, I could go back to third grade, but... Look, I used to be really good friends with Violet. And Charlie used to do the radio station thing. But ever since Olivia started hanging out with them, it's like everything. Ah, oh, God, I gotta go. Sorry, we'll talk more later. Bye. Call me. Okay, Olivia's got ringleader vibes. I need, if I can learn more about her. See, I was thinking, my thought process was, instead of asking, like, they're in some deep shit, I would be like, tell me about them so I can divide and conquer when I know their weaknesses. What is this? Ooh. Oh, no way. I buried this. When what? I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. No. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. No. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. Do you think Maggie knew? Hmm. She was still trying to experiment with this stuff, even then. Mel, I still cannot believe the progress we've been making, and yet it feels as if we've barely begun climbing. Between your theories about the potential of the electromagnetic field and the technology we're developing, I feel illuminated the bright light of possibility. I'm hoping for our next experiment. We could try a new location. Though I must say the silent audience of headstones is soothing to me. For however strange that must sound. Okay. Maria's friends are on Edwards. Interesting. Alright. So I should be looking for cemetery. But I want to go quickly back through town. Maybe now we can actually go over this way. We're exploring. It's full on exploration time. Bunch of nothing I wanna get in there. Okay, let's go. Assume glowy is good. I don't see a glow. I don't got to go. Okay. We'll head over to the lighthouse area if I can get to the lighthouse. Or at least as far over as we can go. familiar 
Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is they're a cult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's some parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories about people disappearing. About them performing rituals and stuff. Yeah, I saw their flyer at the store. You think this is a cult thing? Seriously? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. Hmm. Hey! These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. Ingrid, stray thoughts. Consider this an addendum to our last conversation. I have no religion. I cannot say it is the pursuit of knowledge, as I gave up the chase quite a while ago. My father was devout, my mother less so. I patterned after her. Faith in a system where I cannot see its purpose is hard for me. What is the purpose of chemical existence? I've never read a satisfactory answer. Mayhem is the order in which the universe was... X... Founded. I think. <laughs> the stories we take from that mayhem are us trying to line up events in a way that makes sense for our sanity. I'm happy for anyone who finds peace in this ocean, so I'm happy parentage gives you some peace. I'm not exactly jealous, but perhaps I should be. M. Is that another location, or is that just like, we're drawing some stuff. I also like to draw. <laughs> also, the family market is, the lights are on, but we can't go? Man. There's actually homes and houses and stuff here, huh? And a lighthouse that I can't get to. Gotcha. So people live, like, like he was saying, he lives here. People live here. I mean, there's the Kamina. Baseball team. So this isn't like Edwards where it's empty. This is a, this is a place highway. Oh, we're going to the... Let's run up to the highway. This should be totally safe. Okay. And this leads us back to the truck. you there? Over. Hey, Evelyn. What's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Uh. Evelyn, uh, where do I put this? This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but- No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are, well, the numbers are otherworldly way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Just to get our reading straight. That sound all right? Yeah, Evelyn, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. Some culty ass cult shit. I don't know if I trust anyone right now. Alright. Map. We can technically go that way, right? To the highway? 
Let's run on the highway. No cars are working, apparently, so we're fine. Ah. Right. We're back here. We have rope now. Okay, so take this anchor. Somebody left this behind, which is good, because rope climbing requires them. See, just slide the rope through and hook. I haven't done this since basic, but riding a bike and all that. Uh, just take it slow. <laughs> For me. Interesting. Okay. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but, uh, take a walk on the wild side, Jake. You got it, oh, Jake. God. Oh, God of God. I'm proud of you, Jacob. You're a rock climbing fool. Oh, I'm a fool, all right. But thanks. Riley out here being the best. Fake it to make it, Riley. You got this. Oh, there's a weird looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, uh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Ugh. Let's just come back later. If we find a better radio along the way, great. If not, maybe we'll have come up with a workaround. Yeah, okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, note to self. Secret when they, facilities. Uh, when they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And I said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking... That's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. To Kamina. I mean, people come back to their hometowns all the time, I guess. I, uh, guess I just needed a reset. I didn't have a permanent address, and drifting like that can feel great for a bit, like I'm beating some system, but I didn't really have anything to show for it but a foggy memory and a lot of bad habits. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the... how's he doing? Still an electrician? It's been a minute since I've seen him in town. But I, I don't venture too far from the outskirts nowadays. Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly. To be a little closer to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you uh, came back for a reset, and I, I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. I, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Conversation will continue. I'm trusting you, game. Thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Man, total strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Broken truck. Lost dog. And now, uh, this situation. However you classify it. Because I have no idea. Hey, never say never. Strikes don't necessarily have to stop at three. <laughs> there's always room for more. And hey, there's strike four. That's okay. Oh, hold on, buddy. So this takes me back down. So we need to go up. And then that's where we were before. So we want to go potentially up past. So that over there, we can't get into there yet. So we want to go this way. Past Jacob's house, up the bluffs, up to either Charity Point or the Tutega Falls. This night I had a dream. I was taking a walk and someone was approaching. It turned out it was me. And like, not a mirror, it was another me. Only, he didn't have a face. 
And, and then I reached up to see if I did, but Athena barks me awake before I can find out. Yo. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it just came to me right now. It just pops out of nowhere. Super creepy. Yeah, it stuck with me for most of the morning. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> right. So in the first game, that's stuff that happened. That's like weird seeing a version of yourself that's like not you. Something must have gone wrong with their whatever they were doing. Mel, since you didn't want to hear it, you'll just have to read it. Our work will not yield the results you're looking for. It just won't. Tom, I'm so very sorry to say, is beyond our reach, beyond anyone's reach. Though hypocritical of me to say, I encourage you to look forward. If that's as impossible for you as it is for me, then perhaps try to change how exactly you look back. Take Hank to visit Tom. I know he's an infant. For now, it's not for him. And when Hank is old enough to understand, tell him about his older brother. About Tom. That small patch of earth, those letters carved in stone... They can be so much more than a place for pain. The world has enough of those. Make it something else, something better. Thank you for your help. May, uh, my work would never have grown as it has without you. Now go find Hank and take a walk. And if you see me there wandering, do wave Maggie. Is there a way to access these? Ah, collectibles. Ah, there was more on the first page. Okay, I must confess, I took a look at Tom's headstone out of unconquerable curiosity. My deepest condolences. So young, too young, Maggie. J.B. Ingrid White. So these are letters to various peoples. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I feel like... The potential for contacting the dead is a huge factor in why people want to mess with this kind of stuff. So I can see why someone would want to reach out to a dead loved one, maybe. Hey, I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this uh, thing I've been working on for like, for like years. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? It was good. Lots of assumptions there, I realize. But uh, you can't make an omelet, <laughs> am I right? By the way, I, I genuinely can't make an omelet. Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever gonna get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. And conditioner. I genuinely, objectively, without a shred of consideration for politeness, liked it. Well then, I genuinely, objectively, uh, uh the, the, the rest of that, appreciate it. I usually just work with scrap metal. I figured, you know, branch out, Jake. It's a work in progress. Both the sculpture and the branching. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom. Have the world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. <laughs> Maybe. I'm genuinely... Well, Maybe. Let's see. A wonderful word. Yeah, how it 
lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. I'm curious. I went up to get. Ah, uh, yeah, I had a feeling. My Mel. mother was an undertaker. That's one way to start a letter, Maggie. My mother was an undertaker. I grew up in a graveyard. They say, ooh, achievement. They say a cemetery is no place for a child, but for me, it's a place of happy memories. Somewhere I go on gray days, sometimes wandering besides the headstones. I swear I can still smell my mother's perfume. Funny that we should run into each other there. You don't meet many fellow amateur radio enthusiasts in the wild, let alone one conducting experiments. I must say, the amplifier you were working uh, with the amplifier you were working with has thoroughly piqued my curiosity, and homemade no less. Bravo. I've always theorized that increased amplification of, well, any signal really, could uncover all sorts of wonders and terrors and all those beautiful and awful things we dream about at night, for better or worse. I'm hoping perhaps we could work together to see if these theories are true. Also, I'd love to hear who Tom was, if you're so inclined. So she, she was on the same page trying to reach out to the dead. To talk to Tom. Here's my question. Um... Right, 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 right. All that's good. Back to collectibles. So... Maybe it, JB is more off to the other side of the island, and we just got lucky with that one? I really just want to check and see if there's something down here, because we skipped this path. I got distracted by the sparklies, and maybe there's another sparkly. Maybe there's double sparkles. Gotta have doubles. Gotta have triples. Nope, zero sparkles. We're fine. You know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and just what she used to tell me about all this at least an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. But I never stopped playing around with radios, you know, trying to prove her right, trying to vindicate her a little. Everything that's been going on these last few months has really stirred up a lot. It'd be so absolutely crazy if this has to do with her. <laughs> it does. How'd you uh, meet her, anyway? She was an old woman who lived on an island. Oh, I used to practically live at the library. And she'd come and check out books on electromagnetism. She'd ask what I was reading. No one else would. She was, uh, she was a character. <laughs> and I was so young. I don't know. I was a kid and bored and my house sucked. So, you know, why not hang out with some weird old lady who believed in magic? Eventually, I'd stopped going to the library. I'd read all the Encyclopedia Browns anyway. And she just carried this weight on her. You could see it in her trembles. It just got to be too much eventually. Sadness was like radiation. You, you can only be around it so much. Before... Yeah. You ever get back in touch? No, no, I, I didn't. She, uh, she, she died a few years back. I actually went to the funeral. Her only request was to be buried somewhere you couldn't see water. They did it on a hill, southern side of town. I think I was the only one to attend. Never wanted that to happen to me, you know? Hmm. Make no lasting connections. It didn't make me feel good to see her like that. Hmm. That was nice of you. I mean, was it? Actually, sure. Thanks. Come on. Onward. When we're done with all of this, you should come back here. Like this area. Best sunset view in town. Five crisp dollar bills in your pocket, you find a better one. So noted. And I intend to collect summers if it ain't up to snuff. 
Five hundred pennies, you have my word. Alright, so we somehow ended up here. Which is not where I wanted to go at all. But I had a good conversation, so that's fine. And I guess we could go up and check. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Did you know that? Something about the, uh, the dust in the atmosphere? Blue Martian sunset. Saw it on a nature show. Because, you know, technically, outer space is part of nature. Like sky blue? Or uh, blue M&M &M blue? Yeah, more of a darky cobalty blue, if, if you know what that is. Like a, a faded metallic blue. I'm kind of jealous, you know? I mean, I'm totally down with uh, earthly and sunsets. No complaints. But I, I don't know. Makes you wonder what else is out there. And how much of it we'll never get to see. Maybe that's just me. But maybe it ain't. Don't be jealous. Our sunsets kick the crap out of theirs. Blue schmo, we're the bell of the celestial ball. Yeah, we do good work, it's true. Great work, even. Hell yeah, Earth. But who knows? Maybe it's better to be blue. Adaba D. Adaba die. Anna. Who was Anna? Jay. It was an accident. A careless mental mistake. Two syllables. But you're not wrong. Anna is never far away from my thoughts. Her name never far away from my lips, clearly. Do not think this is by choice. So much of my life is not by choice. So much of my life, or so I tell myself. I wish I could tell you it will never happen again. I wish I could tell you many things. Interesting. All right, so that's the that's that way. I gotta look up here and see if there's anything else. You know what I mean? Besides this hell signal. Let's eat, damn it. Hey, you okay? Jesus, freezing. Hey. Hey! Are you okay? Oh, Jesus. Damn it. Damn it! Story. It was a 
dog. What was it? A dog. One more time. A dog. How big was it? Pretty big. I, I don't know. It was raining. You're sure it was dead? Uh, I'm... Oh, come on, Dave. Are you sure he... Are you sure it was dead? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay. Sure. Yo, I don't think I don't think that was a dog. Good that we went back up here, because at least I found that note. We'll take the fast way down. Oh yeah, come on. You're going to love this, Jake. You're going to have so much fun. <laughs> confession oh boy before my truck broke down i was headed to the library to return a book i was a month late in returning i'm talking 30 proper days and i never even finished it athena and i walk there all the time so i figured two birds you know <sighs> you're a monster jacob summers i'm ashamed to know you terror of the fiction section that's uh that's me yeah, but really i could have waited another 30 because kimina pl got rid of late fees last september I mean, is it weird that I don't mind paying late fees? I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. You really want to charge a kid 50 cents because he's one day late and returning dude the cat goes to school? Do you remember how hard it was to get money as a kid? You may as well charge them cold fusion. I do, and that's exactly why. Learn the lesson, young reader. Maybe a more considerate child also wants to know how that day at school went for dude, but now they'll never know. Anyway, now you know. Judge me. Mm, go ahead. Finish the damn thing. Come on, at this point you're like morally obligated. You're not the boss of me, but it, yeah, I, I should. I will, but because Jacob decided so. Thank you and tip your wait staff. But also... This goes down. Does it go down to a note? Now, how on earth did we... I mean, I guess we're going where we want to go, so it's fine. Different direction. Fine by me. Nope, not up, not up, down. Hop over the water. Good, good. me about our options so we're gonna go 
going to Charity Point first, because that's its own thing. And then we can head over and up right. Okay. So I imagine past his house up north is the direction we should go. Directly straight up. If they want, for Oxenfree 3, if they just want to, like, have me do the VO of the soundtrack. Ah, another anchor. See? We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. Just saying. I think I could, I think it could be very good at it. Yeah, a DLC. That's just me doing the soundtrack. Ah, bit of a leap there. You got this. Uh, we could climb down here. Also, it might take a little longer. I just don't think we can make the gap. Right? Or am I just not judging it correctly? Yeah, we should probably climb down. Just to be safe. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, will... oh, oh. I think you would have broken every bone in your body if you tried to jump that. You could really see how long it is from this angle. Actually, you're probably right. So, we, we want to go up there, but the caves are pretty well connected. We follow this one through, should wind up somewhere on the other side. She admittedly isn't the prettiest plan, but she's the best we got. Uh, is this public use land, or...? Oh, yeah. This is, you know, we're, we're all in the park area. I don't think any of it's privately owned. Anyways, come on. Just this way, I think. Do we go in the cave and then out the other side down here? What's the cave rules? To the caves. Caves. Funny how just a little light makes everything both less and more spooky. Weird, right? Maybe it's just me. Did it go out? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> funny. You're a funny person. You're hilarious. Oh, hey, look. Creepy cave drawings. That's fun. Do we want to talk about those creepy cave drawings or no? We're just going to run past, huh? Nice. <laughs> cool. I wonder if I would have kept it dark if that would have done something. Oh. Jesus, when did all this fog come in? Well, we're still, we're still, we're still going. Hey, uh, if you're on this frequency, pick up. Who's that? Riley, are you there? Over. What? Yes, this is Riley speaking. Over. Man, you sound... Uh, actually, you don't sound at all how I thought you'd sound. But, uh, how's it going? Over. Yeah, I'm fine. Who's this? Over. Um, you know who this is. I'll give you the space to figure it out for yourself. Okay. I don't want to waste your time. That's a pretty important resource. But my mom used to tell me stories. That's why I'm calling. Because one of the stories was about tonight. And the things that are going on. Anyways, I just had a hunch. I'll see you later. Hello? Anyone there? Over. Yes. Who am I speaking with? Over. You're speaking with Nick Stewart, ma'am. Uh, 
Uh, now, can you tell me why you're on this frequency? Over. Hello? I'd appreciate an answer. Over. I didn't call you, buddy. Over. No, it was you. The reception was bad, but it was you. Listen, I got you on the horn here, so can you do me a favor? You sound pretty clear, which means you're probably in Kamina, right? Probably at the dock by Charity Point. There's an outpost for local fishermen near you. Can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack is in there? It's the outpost for local fishermen. I want to make sure it's still there. The backpack. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll help out. A blue backpack? Yeah, awesome. Great. That'd be a big help. Just give me a ring if you see it. Thanks. Over and out. Ready to get real weird with me? Ready to get real weird? In the beginning, well, roughly beginning, when the time loops and the time jump started to happen and there was like, pss, 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 we're flipping around, right? One of those time loops at the very top was Riley and I think her son? Do you think that voice in the fog was Riley's son from the future contacting her in the past based off the story she told him and he's like, you know who this is. Because he's vague for the purpose of being vague. But, is that her son? Question is why. Question is how. But is that her son? Oh, we in crazy town now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is good times. <laughs> I am, as the kids say, all about the crazy times. So I need to go down, huh? Go find this dude's backpack. Huh, this must be the outpost the fisherman guy was talking about. Maybe we help him out, maybe not. We are in a time crunch here. Any, uh, anything down here? Anything? Two multiple opens, I guess, huh? Oh, okay. I guess somebody sleeps here, sometimes. Yeah, fishing expeditions can sometimes take a while, I think. Actually, I don't really know. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Marlin! Why do people love killing things and putting them on walls for other people to see what they've killed? I don't know. Looks cool, probably. That'd be my guess. Is this the good radio? Well... What else I expected? Oh, it's uh, that guy's backpack. Maybe you should call him back. Let him know we found it. Okay. Hey, uh, Nick. Yeah, your your backpack's here. It's blue, right? Over. Ah, oh, okay. Good. I thought maybe I did bring it, but that the stupid thing fell overboard. Uh, look, this is an emergency line for boaters only. I'm retired now, but I was sort of an amateur explorer. Never charted anything, but I'm all over Kamina. So if you need any info about the area or Edwards Island, I've been all up and down the coastline. Just give me a holler. Anytime. I'll be up all night. Sure, I just might. Over. Okay. Thanks for the help again. Over and out. Cool. All right. Walkie talkie contact added. But this, uh, this, I can't take that, I can't leave that door, huh? Why give me the option for that door? Why, why allow us to click it? What was that about? So we can't go this way, huh? 
Nope. Huh. Okay. This would require ropes, and that would mean that we'd have to, well, maybe we can, maybe we can snooch it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. The caves. These uh, caves are um, connected, I think, to Garland. We'll have to go there later, so you'll see how widespread it is. If you uh, know the tunnels well enough, you can walk to and from practically any point in town completely underground. Hmm. Have you uh, been down here before? Me, uh, personally? No. Some of the kids do, or did, in high school. They crawl in here, light a fire, make out, or whatever. But I'm too little a fan of small, dark spaces to really see the desire. Well, just make it fast. We're not here to sightsee. Hey, no, I'm totally right there with you. Hey, did you ever hear when you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You see that? Hello? Jacob, shh. Stay still. Well... Uh, that was weird. I don't think we're alone. Could have been a trick of the eye. You, uh, never know. I don't know! That seemed... Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah. But the stone will knock out the radio waves. I don't think that thing will work down here. We can't listen to music while we spelunk. Sorry. Hey, check it out. We could probably climb down this. Wow, your night vision is way better than mine. Didn't even see this. Lead the way. Oh, did, were we supposed to go over here and see something? <laughs> and I just, like, skipped it? Oh, shit. Okay. Mm, definitely not jumping that one. Gotcha. Jesus, someone should put a you know, cones here or something, right? Maybe there's another way around. We need to get to the other side. Yeah, let's look around. Find a detour. Right. Pro player Jesse Cox strikes again. That's a wall. Cave wall. Hey! Sorry. I guess another way out over there, but false alarm. It's the wind tunnel. I think I I, I might have seen something in the water, but uh, never mind. It's gone now anyway. We'll be gone soon, Riley. Don't worry. C cool. Cool. Oh wait. Wow, this is, I've never been in here. Watch your stuff. I don't think this was meant for tourists. There's junk all over. Don't trip. Just keep a lookout for a way out. Definitely, we will do. Not gonna get us where we need to go. Nope. It's kind of sad seeing this thing so broken. At least there's no skeletal remains, I guess. Doesn't mean it was empty when it crashed. Just saying. True. What is this? No way. What? Yeah, that is a bird. Feathers, beak. It works. Uh, why is it here? I would guess to detect carbon monoxide, but no one's worked down here in decades. So uh, it beats me. 
what do we do with it? We're just gonna leave it? Hey, look, Jacob, it's an anchor. Uh, which means it's another rope climb adventure. You first. Hey, Evelyn, are you around? Over. Yeah, no signal. Riley, oh! You're really going in and out. It's hard to hear you. Are you? Over. Oh, crap. Evelyn, I I'm in a cave. Can you hear me? Over. Riley, did you say you're saying you're in a cave? I wouldn't go exploring in the beach hollows, Riley. Leslie warned me about how dangerous they can be. You get lost and stop all the time. Be extremely cautious. Seriously. I'll talk to you when you're out in clear air again. But we're out. Hey, uh, Maria, come in if you're there, please. Over. Hey, Riley, you're going in and out, but I'm here. Hey, uh, what do you know about Violet? Anything specific or uh, useful? Over. Sky, let's avoid it if if we can. Or also, uh, let's see what's ahead. Oh God, there has to be something down here. Oh, is it like? Sorry, you're stuck. Oh no, no. Well, maybe. Screw it. We gotta open this. Hey, wait. You're just gonna. We haven't seen if we can maybe just walk out. We don't know what this thing will do. Let's just see what this does. It I might help. Slightly to strongly disagree, but uh, okay. Okay, organs intact, skin attached. I'll take it. I think we're back when the mine was somewhat operational. I don't think anyone's around. Amazing. Which means we time travel. We have traveled through time. Uh, on any other day, I'd be screaming, but instead, let's uh, see if the time tear opened anything up. Hmm. Okay, I'm uh, starting to get. Sorry, it's it's not claustrophobia, but uh, we're just like on the precipice of madness here, you know. As a kid, when I was anxious, my brother and I would play a game that kind of helped me out. It was called One Word Story. Basically, two people tell a single story one word at a time, bouncing back and forth. Should help chill us out. Chill me out, at least. How about that? Uh, sure. Sounds good. Let's do it. Cool. Great. I'll start us off. Once. Now you go. Once. Upon. Oh, yeah, this always happens. I'll skip ahead. It's like playing through in golf. So, once upon a time, there was a... Okay, now you go. Guy named Jacob. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you slide since you're a first time. <laughs> Fine, I'll treat too. Uh, guy named Jacob, who everyone. Eight. Makes sense. Uh, him. Eight him. They ate him, right? The end. Good job. <laughs> we did it. I'm, I'm proud of us. Okay, so let's review. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Jacob. Everyone ate, ate him. him. The end. The end. Not a. Not bad. First times always. 
card. Ah, pure poetry. We should, uh, write a novel when we get back to normalcy. It'll be a quick read. That was actually really helpful. Like, really. Hmm. Where does all ebbed? We're gonna get back to the bird? Yeah. But this one's dead? Maybe we can meet our bird's grandpa. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's dead. I, uh, wouldn't look in there. Uh, okay, that's worrying. Among other things. Let's get a move on. And this works. Oh, looks like it's working? Uh, how do we get up there, though? Yeah, don't know. It's another radio receiver thing. It's gonna be the same. We're gonna are we gonna get the radio in the past? No, lever. Should probably need. Wonder if this. Gotcha. Hey, it worked. Easy peasy. Man, I can't believe this thing is working. This whole night is just melting my brain. Yeah, working so far. Sorry, I just want to check over here. Nope. I can go up the ladder. But no. All right. I need to, do I need to lift him up? Please, I I'm a stone I'd cold killer. Way once I was here, but I'll uh, uh -oh. I... that that doesn't seem good. Climb up fast. I think this place is having a minor meltdown. God damn it! The mine is collapsing. I don't have much time. Come on, cool kid. Superpowers. Jump it! Look at this plan! Nice. We made it. We're back in, uh, you know, now. Whew, man. Yeah. Thank the Lord or Lords above. Oh, hey, look. That's... So I'm not gonna talk about this? Okay. Ah. Alright. And now we're here. I see you glow. I see you glowing. Jacob Summers paused. The mountain stood its ground. He knew he needed to climb it, he knew he could climb it, but the doubt, oh, such towers of doubt, if he actually would. Riley climbed with ease, Riley always climbed with ease. As she scaled the heights with ability and grace, Riley Poverly wished Jacob would get his ass in gear and climb. Jacob noted Riley's impatience. To the surprise of none, it helped not a bit. Uh, 
See anything over there? Like, I don't know, like a bear? Nothing, and plenty of it. That's probably good. We've seen plenty of something tonight. Hmm, I think one of Maggie's old army buddies turned into a pen pal. Dear Kenneth Young, it's nice to hear from you. I always assumed you moved to North Carolina, so it was especially nice to hear that this wasn't the case. Managing your dad's textile plant just didn't seem to suit you. I think you'll find Kamina still has its limited charms. They've improved the roads, and the shellfish is still excellent. I wouldn't visit Milner, though. It's unrecognizable from when we were stationed. It's a tourist factory now, and their wares are overpriced. The bad dreams are common refrain from other past recruits. After the Canaloa, people seem to... Have a much harder time sleeping. I wouldn't think much of it. Turn off your TV after 10 p.m. It'll help. Now, I know that's one of those, like, don't get the blue light or whatever, but also, is it TV ghosts? Maggie, what you know, girl? What, what are you, what are you saying to me? Turn over the letter with the drawing of the girl? I tried. I think I did that. I'm pretty sure I did that. Yeah, turn page. I'm pressing, pressing the button. The drawings signify the end of a thing. So because the drawing's on page one, there is no flip side. But I will assuage your curiosity. Like, how do you just, like, do this? No, oh, how do you do this? How do you do this? You just do, you know? No, I don't, you know. I think I'm uh, gonna have to find another way around or something. I'll oh, send you a rope. Don't worry. Watch your head. This man can climb a rope. Easy peasy. Cliff face. Jacob was grateful. Embarrassed, but grateful. Come on, Jake. Let's go. How many bones do you think I'd break if I fell right now? Break, not fracture. I'm talking an audible snap. Uh, let's go with like 96%. Nice even number. Nice instant death. And upsy daisy. And okay. Didn't die. Sweet. Box ticks. After you, Gumshoe. Back into the creepy caves. Everything's fine. No worries. No more jump scares. Just a little bit further. So, getting close. Thank God. Okay, here we go. One latch at a time. He'll be fine. Just don't look down. Yeah, noted. Can I go up uh, more? Ooh. Careful. Nope. I'm okay. Just keep going. Oh, I was uh, I was gonna. My fingers are only bleeding a little. The ladder's just up ahead. Don't do that, light. Don't do that. I <laughs> oh, come on! was that? I think you dropped this. There. You doing okay, kiddo? Didn't hurt yourself too bad? Uh, Dad? I don't... Wait, what are you... Mother bears will protect their young, especially during mating season, so be extra careful not to break that light. Hey, look, kiddo. I'm sorry you couldn't go on your fifth grade field trip to the national park. I know you didn't want me to come along and chaperone. You never liked a crowd, but I'm just sorry I couldn't afford it. But we can do lots of hikes like this one over the summer, right? So you don't have to mope around the house so much, okay? Oh yeah, I remember this. 
I mean, I don't know why they need $200 for a bus ride to a shared hotel room and communal dinner. I'll make it up to you, though. Your, uh, teacher said really nice things about you. Said you did really well in science class. And Miss Cavendish said you wanted to write your paper on Mom. Riley, she expects you to interview someone for that. You have to think of somebody else. Somebody more available. And I don't mean me. But anybody. Why? Why can't I interview Mom? Riley, you know why. Your mother, she was incapable of most things. She couldn't love me, she couldn't love you, and I know in your heart you want to find out why, but there's no why there. Her soul just has too many cracks, you see? It just can't hold anything for very long. You understand? No, not really. Maybe you won't ever, and that's okay too. We can talk about it later, after we find the clearing. Oh, shoot, I think we took a wrong turn. It's okay. Climb up this ledge, and I'll meet you around the other way. By the creek. Won't take me an extra three minutes. Wait, don't... don't... don't leave. I'm not leaving, just meeting up with you later. You can do this, right, Red? Now I'll see you up top in a bit. Meet you around the bend. Nope. Riley, hey, uh, here you are. I called and called, but echoes. That was. I didn't want to, you know, leave without you though. I uh, I think my um uh. Riley? You okay? I, I just saw my dad for a second. It was another time thing. I it, it's okay. I'm I'm okay. It was just, you know, it's it's nothing. I'm good. Let's uh let's just keep going. Oh. Uh okay. Let's uh, let, let's do it. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm good on caves for ever. Can we go? Nope, we can't get over to that creepy shrine, huh? Okay. All right. Oh, that's, uh, uh th that must be Violet was her name? I, I think she was out here somewhere. Hmm, we must be in range. And keep a, uh, keep an eye out. Hey, Evelyn, can you hear me? I'm pretty far off the grid, so just checking. Over. Damn. <sighs> okay, I guess you're crapping. Maria? Are you around? Over. No, Dad. I don't want to go to the dentist again. My teeth hurt for the last time. No, Dad. Stop. <laughs> we were done with caves, except for the next, except for the next, the next cave. In which case, then we'll be done with caves. Oh, no, we're good. I think, yeah, this is near the top. Gotta be a good transmitter spot somewhere around here. Now that I've had a minute or so to process, despite the fact that I went back in time to use a collapsing elevator from the turn of the century, I'm doing all right, surprisingly. Specifically regarding the, uh, the elevator, I should say. I think you're in shock. Give it an hour, tops. Can't say I wasn't warned. 
<laughs> Can I jump this? Oh. Hello? Huh. Nice. Whatever happened at Fort Milner must have really messed things up for a while. Kenneth, don't follow the whispers you hear on the radio. Those things you hear at night are orphaned dreams looking for someone to startle and haunt. See your family more often. They care about you. Your visions don't. Right. So the whole don't watch TV is part of it. So Maggie's just trying to help people. I get it. No, no, no. Uh, don't Riley, hurt look, me. It's that girl, Violet. She's one of parentage. Come on, we have to help her. She's going to fall. Don't Come on. cry. No. Oh man, not this again. You can't make me. I'm almost I'm going to be 17. I'm 17. I am. Jacob, are, are I'm you not going? Uh no. okay? I don't want to go to the floor with you. Because my son's wrong. I told them I would. Violet? Oh, crap. crap. He went to the store and he got me some. He got me a magazine. Jacob, let's go! Wake up! Come on, man, I need you. Dad didn't care. About them. About oh, what? Not him or what did he care about? Why did he even get them Because he wanted me to have them. Did he talk about me? What did he say? He didn't And what else did you do with your father yesterday? Nothing. Nothing. He went to the store and he got me some. He got me a magazine. What else did he get you? Skates, too. I told you you couldn't roller skate until you got your grades up. Dad didn't care. He didn't care about my wishes or he didn't care about your grades. About them. About not having them. Right, she hates her mom. What did he care about? Hmm? This is the divorce. Why did he get them for you? Because he wanted me to have them. Did he talk about me? What did he say? He didn't care about And what else did you do with your father? Right, so it's a loop. Nothing. Wild. He got me some. He got me a magazine. Okay. Okay. Dad didn't care. About them. About not having them for winter. Doesn't want me to go Has towards her. To Can I go away from her? Shit. Nothing. Well, now that I know more, should I... Okay, Violet, just, just stay with me, okay? Girl! <laughs> Oof. Maybe I should have just climbed the cave with you? Doing okay? The peak is just over here. One more thing about school, and then I'll drop it, because I don't want to ruin the morning. You can't be getting into fights anymore. I know that girl Julie spread some rumor, but uh, they're gonna kick you out of school if you keep it up. No more friends, no more science class. Is that what you really want? Are you? Mad at me? Am I in trouble? I'm not thrilled with you right now, but I don't know if that'll disrupt Pete tonight. Hey, do me a favor and show me that penny you got in your pocket there. When I install electricity in someone's home, I bury a really long, uh, let's call it a stick, under the ground. This stick is made of copper, like that penny. We call it grounding. Very important part of the job. Why'd you do that? 
Well, electricity is, uh, is a lot like you, actually. It's always mad. And being mad is what lets electricity do its job. But sometimes it can be too much, and that's when people get hurt. Just focus on the penny, and just let it go. Just let go of being mad. Because sometimes electricity just needs to go somewhere. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a lot of things do. I'm... is this making sense? Damn, I couldn't even press it. I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. I'm already late for school, Mom. I haven't touched it. Is it over? Feels over. Did you go anywhere, or...? I think I was upside down? Or maybe everything else was upside down, and I wasn't? I don't know. Like remembering a dream. A nauseating dream. Let's see if we can help the kid. The kid dead? What happened? No, she's there. Listen. Stay right there. I mean it. Okay, I'm... I'm... We're gonna stay right here. I have no reason to believe that you're real. It's only real if Olivia says it is. They've been talking to each other forever. At least, that's what it feels like. You didn't know who's been talking to who? Uh, Olivia and them. They won't let me stop. I just want to go home. That's okay. That's okay. You want to go home? Hey, I want to go home. Do you know where I live? I don't think she's okay, Riley. <sighs> Just keep heading that way, away from us. You should end up near the cliffs. Might be some climbing. You okay with that? I'm going to get my friends and go home now. Uh, thank you. Would have been nice. Don't let them take you. Don't worry, they won't. <sighs> I just hope you know what you're doing. Because I don't know if just letting her run off into the night was the right call. Let's just focus on planting these transmitters. Once that's done, it's over. So she can try to get home if she wants. Okay, well, let's find a high spot for the transmitter. Come on. Almost there. Oh shit, here we go. All right, let's see if it does something. Ah, 
there it goes. Huh, all right. These uh, seem to be working. At least I hope they're working. Uh, I feel like we earned that one. Definitely. And everything's good? Like, true. nothing terrible is about to happen? We're good? No, Evelyn, no. I don't want to talk about it. What? I don't want to talk about it, and you can't make me. So, there. Uh, talk about what? Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. And I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay? I don't want to. Okay, we'll talk about something else then. Like... When I was your age, I... Oh my god, never mind! I told Brandon I was sorry. I told Mr. Severson I was sorry. And I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. But still, I just get mad. And it's like, it's like a sneeze. My hand still really hurts. Real bad. Well... I'm glad you said sorry. At least. It was only because the principal made me. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. I hate not being able to turn it off. Here. It's a penny. A penny? What for? Uh, so... Pretend you're like electricity. People who work with electricity put, um, put copper in the ground just in case there's too much of it so it has some place to go. So next time you're mad, just pretend you're electricity and that penny is your someplace else. Whoa! Whatever. We both know that's not gonna work. No, I don't want to... to... Sorry, I, I was just back in fifth grade, yelling at a teacher. Oh, God. These things are really giving me a headache. Are we... Oh, Jesus, are we just going crazy? I mean, never say never. Hey, uh, you okay? I am uh, processing. Best I got for you. But also, that Channel 5, 100% was her kid from the future, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great. Awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying. But also, huh, it appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. Oh, it's pretty nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside. Hunker down. Over. Yeah, I... No, I should. I'm sorry, my mind's... I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner, because she lives in Kamina, and... I haven't actually heard from her in a while. Sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted. Over. Oh, that sucks. Just focus on your sister, Evelyn. Don't worry about this stuff for a minute. Over. Thanks. I wish I could. I'm just hoping everything's okay and her phone is just dead. All right. Sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. <laughs> 